Alrighty, another beautiful day upon us. Lisette, how's it looking? It looks great. I mean, if you can, take advantage and make the most of this beautiful weather because it is warm and just a little humid. And we are going to see mainly dry conditions because the showers are going to be focusing mostly on the southwest coast. And as we head into the weekend, still going to see warm afternoons. But the difference is that the humidity will be lower and we'll be enjoying some cooler overnight lows in the mid to upper 60s. But wow, I mean, look at this view from our Windjammer Resort camera, the blue skies and the sun shining bright. Folks out there soaking up the sunshine, 81 degrees in Miami and the humidity is not too bad either. 54% and Fort Lauderdale, 81 is 79 in a Key West and the wind is helping us out, but also leading to a little bit of rough surf. You can see there, there is a moderate risk of rip currents. By the way, I'll talk more about that in a moment. 81 right now in Fort Lauderdale and Pembroke Pines, 82 and Kendall 80 in Homestead and as we head into the afternoon honestly temperatures are going to pretty much just go up maybe a degree or so so we're going to be sitting in the low 80s just as we have been the past few days and as we take a look at the next radar network it is quiet but hour by hour I'll show you that we're not really expecting much in the way of wet weather there might be a shower popping up around 11 p.m. near Fort Lauderdale and then around midnight into tomorrow morning there there might be a few spotty showers and then in the afternoon some stray showers and that's about it as we head into Saturday it is still looking spectacular with much of the action over the interior over the Everglades and off to the west there is a moderate risk of rib current so if you're headed to the beach uh, you want to be cautious because we do have that onshore flow the wind out of the east 5 to 15 miles an hour the UV index is moderate and there's that disturbance we've been tracking in the Atlantic, which only has a low chance of developing into a tropical or subtropical cyclone. At this point, the Hurricane Center is saying that the chance for this to become anything is decreasing and it's not a threat to land, so nothing for us to worry about. As we head into tomorrow, 10% chance of rain, 83. The weekend is looking wonderful. We're going to wake up to cooler lows in the mid to upper 60s. Higher on 84 on Saturday and 83 on Sunday and we're going to just keep that going all the way through early next week. Although it'd be nice to get a stronger cold front, we are going to at least enjoy some comfortably cool mornings with lows in the upper 60s and highs in the low 80s.